Although the road may have many bumps, modern cars can ride smoothly with the help of a small device called a shock absorber. The first cars followed the trend of the old horse-drawn carriages in terms of wheel suspension, which made very soon leaf springs become a standard in the newly born industry. This type of suspension provided a certain degree of comfort, but it was later found that the springs had a tendency to bounce and as vehicles became faster, this bouncing up and down resulted in a very dangerous instability. This is where the shock absorber comes into play. In a leaf spring suspension, the shock absorbers are attached to the axle of the wheels. Every time there is an up and down oscillation, the shock absorber acts as a brake and stops it. But what's inside the shock absorber? First of all, there is a cylinder and a piston. The cylinder is filled with oil, which cannot be compressed. So the piston has a hole through which the oil goes from one side of the piston to the other. So the piston can move, but at the same speed, the oil goes through the hole. With each bounce, the oscillation loses strength and stops. Years later, the leaf springs were replaced by coil springs, which were placed wrapping the shock absorber. But the principle is the same. With small variations, this is basically what a car shock absorber does. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Ciao Tarin.